In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new Google Ads account so that you end up with all the options available to you in the account and you don't just end up limited to creating smart accounts, which are not always in the best interests of you or your business. So you're going to head over to ads.google.com and we're going to hit start now. So we're going to have to have a Google login to do this that's not already associated with an a Google Ads account. So I've created one to do this um, and I am going to sign in. If not, you'll have to um, create a Google login. Okay, and I don't need to, can, these are all for the new Gmail I set up. So this is the main page it will take you to. And what most people will do is they will just if they're in e-commerce for website, for example, they'll go, oh, I want get more, um, as I want get more website sales, and they just follow the follow the questions, answer the questions, and then bam, they end up with this smart account, which is really not the best option for you. What I want you to do is look down the page, and you will see at the bottom it says, "Are you a professional marketer? Don't let that put you off. Switch to expert mode." So just hit switch to expert mode, and. At, it's phrased in such a way that it's going to put people off if they are not experienced with marketing. But understand that you're not getting some complicated system that you're not going to be able to use. You are just getting all the available options inside your ad account that gives you the choice as to whether you want to create smart accounts or whether you want smart campaigns or whether you want to create manual campaigns. It gives you the choice and that's the important thing. You don't need to go ahead and start creating an account. You just find the create an account without a campaign option and click that. And then you enter your business information and billing. It is really important that you check the time zone, country and currency because you cannot change these afterwards. And there'll be nothing worse than being billed in a currency that's not sort of the same as your bank account or the same as your accounting um, currency. So just check that to make sure it's OK and hit submit. And that is it done. You now have a fully fledged account that you can start creating campaigns in. And yes, you can still create smart campaigns if you want to. But the whole point is you don't have to. You can actually take the time to learn how to set up normal sort of manual campaigns and what all the options are and do what is best for your business. And if you are interested in learning more about Google Ads and specifically Google Shopping, then head over to the uh, onlineretailacademy.com where you can see information about the membership that I have available, which includes a full Google Shopping course as well. I hope that's been helpful. See you in the next one.